everybody, Sports of 3 here, bringing you another cool action figure toy review. Today we have Neko's Pacific Rim Kaiju Trespasser. Look at this guy, he looks awesome, he's huge, but I'm feeling just a little bit of a deja vu thing going on here. We'll get to that a little later on. Here's a look at the back, and you can see here he's got some nice box art. Doesn't say what category he is, I'm just going to assume it's a category 3. Down here, a few more figures from the way, we have Cherno Alpha, Knife Head, and Coyote Tango. All right, it's time to get this bad boy opened up. And here is Trespasser. Man, he looks great. And you can also call him Axe Head. Some people like to call him that too for obvious reasons. Well, because he's got like a giant axe head. So he stands an impressive eight and a half inches tall. His wingspan here is over a foot across. That's just awesome. We barely keep it in frame. Look at that. Man, he's gonna make for a nice display, that's for sure. So check it out, let's look at some of the details here we got going on. We'll start with the back here, so you can see this giant blade looking piece of bone armor. Man, that is cool. They got a couple of spikes sticking out on both sides. Wow, that's just really neat looking. That's that's really kind of authentic, a real look to it. If you look at it closely, man, they put a lot of effort into the detail in there. That's uh, it's quite impressive. So down here, of course, you got on the arms, you got this yellow striping going on around the neck, side of the face there. It looks really cool. Check out those eyes, man. He's got four eyes, all red and yellow. A little, look like kind of like cat or lizard eyes, man. That's really cool. Got a mouth that moves up and down. Even did some paint apps up inside that mouth. Cool looking tongue sticking out there. Nice sharp teeth. Wow, this thing's really impressive to look at. And then down here on his thighs, he's got some like scale armor here, kind of like a crocodile or of some sort. I'm not really sure, thinking about it, I'm not really sure what this could be a cross between. Now it's easy to figure out like leather back and a couple of the other ones, knife head, you know, a shark and everything. But maybe somebody can answer that question. What would you consider this being a cross of? Like, is it, uh, I don't know, maybe a rhinoceros or something? I'm not really sure. A gremlin? Look at that chin. This is really great to look at. Lots of detail, lots going on with this figure. Man, even the claws. Check out these claws. Now, I poked myself pretty good with these claws, so be careful with that. You're taking them out of the package. Be mindful. These are actually pretty sharp. So for articulation, he's got a bunch of articulation going on. You can spin his head. It's on a bit of a ball joint here, so you got a good range of movement here. You can kind of twerk his head to the side there or to that, and, you know, give him a, like a... Like a, hey, what's going on, fellas, kind of look. <laughs> he can move his mouth up and down. Very nice. And over here on his shoulders, got standard articulation. He can rotate this around, you know, just like so, up and down. And here at the elbow, you can move it up and down a little bit. It will rotate in there. He's got little ball joints here on his wrists, so you can kind of spin the hands around pretty good. And then the inner arms here, you got some movement here. And they're, I guess you can call shoulders. You can move them up and down a little bit. Kind of rotate that a little bit there. No elbow articulation. And again, some movement in the hands. You can rotate and wiggle them back and forth. A smidgen. And then down here at the waist, you got a rotation here. And it doesn't spin all the way around. You're very limited there, but you don't need a whole lot. And then just below that, you have the upper thigh here. You got a small ball joint in there. You can rotate this all the way around and wiggle it back and forth. And at the knee here, you got a spin and a slight bend. Not a whole lot of range of motion there. And then down here at the foot, well, you can spin that around as well. Very cool. And another cool feature about this particular toy that we may or may not have seen before, you got this really cool tail that's got, well, a little metal wire in there. You can pose this all kinds of ways. You can bend it up, bend it down, back it out, straighten it out, and there you go. Here's a quick comparison with Knife Head. Check it out. So, you see, deja vu, right? So, I just reviewed the Knife Head prior to this review here. And you can see a lot of the same pieces that NECA ingeniously used to make the Trespasser, which is kind of awesome. I, I really like this sculpt. I really like this mold. It, it works well. Man, complete win by NECA. And here's a quick comparison with Gypsy Danger. Look at this, man. Nice scale. They look great together. And in case you're wondering, the stands I have here, these are actually the NECA stands that you can pick up, too. And one more quick comparison. There you are with Leatherback. Man... How could you not dig this? There you have it, everybody. NECA's Pacific Rim Trespasser, a.k.a. Axe Head. Wow, man, I, I got to tell you, you got to get this guy. If you're chasing the Pacific Rim stuff, try to get this guy real quick because I can't imagine that uh, he's going to be easy to find after a while. Well, there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. What you, what you want?